Hey there, friends, and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White, and today, another special day, we'll be playing another episode, the second episode of my Final Fantasy VII Remake playthrough. For those of you who are new here, uh, this being your first episode, I am the voice of Aerith in Final Fantasy VII Remake, this amazing game, and I'm very excited to share my experiences with you, so I hope you enjoy this playthrough. Take a second before we begin to like the video as I give a huge shout out to our patron of the day, Andrew. Thank you so much for your contribution on Patreon. You have no idea how much your support helps SRG grow. We have amazing community events planned and I am so excited for the future of SRG community spirit. So thank you so much for your contribution. It really means the world to me. And now everyone, let's get onto this gameplay video. Enjoy! Okay, so we just saw Aerith and whispers showed up around her. These black hooded figures showed up all around her. And then she ran away. And then we're left with the bad guys all around here. So now we got some butt to kick and some what looks like shiny purple materia to collect. Ha! Let's see if she remembers how to fight. Oh, these guys are really easy, though. Alright. I'm just supposed to smash through them, I'm guessing. Take! An orb of deadly dodge materia. How do we add that? What does it do? Uh, into here? Materia and equipment. Is that materia? Okay, okay. Cure, fire. Well, both are both of those are useful, but deadly dodge, what does it do? Attack command will do area damage immediately after dodging. You guys know. You guys know I'm not a defensive player. I don't block, I don't dodge, I don't know if it's going to be good <laughs> for me to equip this. Uh, you guys are saying I should. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. We'll see. I'll, I'll replace fire for now. Yeah, I'll replace fire for now, and we'll just see. I'll try. I'll try. Okay, there's some more bad guys over here. Oh, but these guys are weak to fire. See, I already have regrets. No holding back. That's that. <gasps> I'm being attacked! Oh no! I'm still in the tutorial! Some enemies will occasionally bind your party members with unblockable attacks. If your character is bound, quickly switch to a different character. I don't have a different character! I'm just Cloud! I'm what? <laughs> what do I do? Get him! Try this. There we go. Okay. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Listen, I am just happy that look at the materia colors that Cloud has right now. Purple and green. Some strange rebel colors right there. Let's see. Where's our map? I know it's uh one of the There we go. Okay. Well, we're going away from our destination now, but you know what that means. We get to look for stuff to take. Ooh, haha, -ha, like this. <laughs> A pair of power wrist guards. I don't think I've equipped wrist guards yet. How exciting. Let's try and equip some wrist guards. Ooh, I have a bronze bangle. Power wrist guards is an accessory, okay. Drawing out power latent in the wearer's body. 
check your accessories. Wait. Equipment, set materia. Oh, I see, I have to press X to select cloud. That makes sense, okay. Bronze bangle, power wrist guards, and that's about all we can do for that. Perfect, sweet. Okay, doing some searching. Every little corner, just like I like. Now let's see, if this is also away from our destination, then perhaps this is the way I want to explore. Box him in? Oh, you're asking for trouble, sir. You're done. It's over. It's over. See ya. See ya. I love it. He's so just so like cool. Helicopter. What can I use? What can I use? We'll use focus thrust on this guy. Why not? Oh, that was way too powerful. What are these grenadiers? Hold on now. I'm gonna have to ask you to. Oh, are you dead? All right. Well, that works. Okay. These guys are just easy as pie. Oh, they explode when they die. That's kind of fun. Is that really what happened? Ah, no. What happened? Did they just drop something? Okay. Oh, these guys. These guys are a little more difficult, actually. Oh, that didn't even work. <laughs> see? Did you see me try to dodge that? It didn't work, you guys. I don't know. I don't know if this materia is going to be the right call for me. <laughs> Look, I'm almost dead. Ah! Okay, hold on. Wait, no, wait. Items. Potion. Heal! <gasps> I have limit break! I'm about to kick your butt. You're out of luck. Yeah. Cross slash you. Okay, okay, okay. What's next? Gosh, it's so satisfying to just defeat them. So satisfying. <laughs> Where was he going? <laughs> Slowly walking away from Cloud, like, hmm, I don't know if this guy. Uh, then maybe I will head towards the rooftop. Um, I wish that I hadn't come this way now because I can see now clearly that this was the right way to go. Which means that I might have missed something back there, but, you know, it happens. Let's see if we can do any more exploring over here. It's so, it's so dark in some of these corners, you know? Ooh, a Mako shard. It's not a bad idea. Don't let him get away. No matter what. That voice sounded familiar. There are a lot of familiar voices in this game. Oh, maybe I should use a potion while I'm hanging out here. I was looking I was looking almost a little dead there. Wait, what? Seems like a repeat. Nice. Okay, now. If I could just take a look at my map. This is the plaza where we're gonna go to the roof. This area we just explored, this is where Aerith went. So the only area we didn't really explore was this area. 
So I say let's head there. At least I think that's the case. Yeah, this is where Aerith was. What they want is for you to sacrifice yourself trying to defeat me, but it's not gonna work. Gosh, Cloud is so good. This combat's so fun, you guys. I love it. Yeah, this is the area we haven't been yet. Nice, okay. I should have taken a potion before this, but it'll be all right. I still have yet to use a deadly dodge. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to use it, but it looks nice because it's purple. My favorite color. Okay, looking around this fire truck. Epic music. Now here is... It looks like... Yeah, okay, this is the fire truck. Okay, all right, okay. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see anything. Hmm. Oh, hey, hello. Take, take, take it. Now I can have two purple materia. I just like HP up. Oh, I'm gonna like that, aren't I? For my nice lack of defense. Let's see, set materia. HP up increases your max HP. The total boost limit is 100% when more than one is equipped. We have a lot of potions, so we don't really have a need for cure right now, but I can always switch it back later. So I think let's go HP up for sure, and then maybe we'll try deadly dodge just a little bit longer. I'll give it an effort, you know? Gotta be fair. There is nothing in those boxes! Ridiculous. Okay, so now that we've explored that area, we can go up to the rooftops like we were supposed to do the whole time. Looks like the station's crawling with public security. You know what that means. I'm gonna have to defeat him. All right, up the staircase we go. Ladder? Ladder's the word. Open fire! Shoot to kill! Close oh. Call. Can't see anything. Is that a sign? Am I gonna get to, like, fight this helicopter a little bit? That'd be cool. Are you excited? Get him! It's all or nothing now. It's all or nothing now. Hello. Take. An iron bangle? Maybe that should replace our copper bangle. Or bronze? Bronze. Hey, plus six, plus six. I'll take it. Nice. Now where do I go? Down here. Nice little down the down the fire escape. Can you imagine Cloud as a firefighter though? Actually, I, he'd probably be kind of bad at it. You, sir, need something. Like maybe I need to go around you. I don't know how to fight you from the front. Ha 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 ha! You will soon be destroyed from behind. Questionable wording again, Brianna. All right. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. It was just simple as pie.
In my opinion, pie's a little too simple. I'm not a big pie fan. I'd rather eat cake. Let's go. Let's. Nothing in those boxes either. What a sham. What else is going on around here? The Adventure of Stamp! Everyone's favorite series! Stamp stands up for his friends. Wait a minute! So that's why Barrett was talking about Stamp instead of Scamp, which is a normal dog name. Got it. I got it. I'm with it. Okay. It's fine. We're gonna need some potion. We're gonna need some more potion. Great, okay, great. The map is what I was doing, yes. Okay, because, yeah, this is where we came from. Mm -hmm. We pretty much explored every area except for, didn't really, no, this is pretty much, yeah, that's where we came from. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. I just had to double check. You know me. Every little corner. <laughs> Destroy that single box. What is it even doing in the middle of nowhere? You're not even worth my ATV. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. That's what I'm saying. It's so easy to defeat you. Can I get up there? No. Okay. Are these guys supposed to be just so easy? So fun. Ow! Trying to tase me? Hold on. Wow, these guys are kind of fast running away from me. There's no escape. Abilities, focus thrust on A. There we go. Ooh, well, I thought mm, I'm not, that's not gonna work. Let's let's do you first. You're gonna die first. You're just so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Ooh, I'm shocked. He definitely could have taken advantage of that, but did not. Shameful. Riot Trooper B. You shocked me. I was incapacitated and then you didn't follow up. Cloud is now level 10! He's here. Not you. I didn't lock on. I regret that. Look at him, he's doing it again! What? Okay. What nonsense! Alright, here, I'm gonna do my deadly dodge. I'm ready. It didn't work. Wait for it. Come on. Dodge! Okay. I'm just gonna destroy you now. I don't know how this deadly dodge thing works! Let's see, is there anything I missed up on this level? Why do they even give you the option of coming up here if there's not going to be any treasure hiding? Hmm. Suspicious. What about this one? Anything up here? Nice, cute little cafe, though. Take. Oh, I'm just going to push all those chairs out of the way. <laughs> Bye! Okay, 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 here we go. Down the stairs. And up the stairs again. Nice, okay. Take, and move on. Guys, this battle music is so epic. Enemy you have been warned. To to Clear icicle water. I have a 
feeling that I'll still be able to escape. Okay, I gotta take out these dogs first. <gasps> I've been bound! And stun batoned! Don't like that. Right when I was about to use focus thrust. I'm actually gonna have to use some defense for some reason. Gonna have to use. You're done. Alright. A potion! Okay, almost. This this guard dog has a lot more HP than I seem to remember. Hmm. Try this. Let's finish this. All right. Well, that did something for me. A little bit more. There we go. Now. Not bad. Oh. Oh, shield guy's gone. All right. I'll take it. I don't know how I did that, but sure. I'll take it. What else is going on over here? Some boxes, a chest. Hello. Hi, potion. <laughs> What else do we think? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Saving the game so you know this is a difficult thing. Oh, I think I'm going to enjoy this. Look at him. Oh, those eyeballs are so great. Am I? That's that. That's that. You sure aren't making it hard for me. Is it? Is your shield ready? Oh, that worked out great for me. Didn't attack the person I wanted to, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, let's focus on this guy. Oh, this guy is intense, huh? Hmm, okay. Let's get this guy then, in that case. And then let's we can focus on him, because I'm going to need a potion here. Okay. Was that a deadly dodge? That seemed like something. I'm gonna need to get a little bit more space here. Ooh, ooh! It's a little spicy. Just a little bit. Can you stop using that wall? I really appreciate that, thanks. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Okay. Ha ha ha, you thought! Ha 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 ha! So long, huntsman! Ha, ha. Oh, punish remote, hello! Okay, and now dodge, and now dodge. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting there, guys. Come on! Oh, you got me! Is this like the first mini boss since the scorpion? That's how I'm feeling. Try this. There we go. He's pressured. He's pressured. Okay, this is the time. This is the time. Oh, yes! It's so satisfying, this combat, man! Oh, 
<laughs> Did he, his dying breath, he said, Shinra! Wait, I know that. Oh, flashback, flashback, flashback! It's so epic. Look at him, cool as a cucumber. Oh, love that, love it. I'm so excited for this scene. Just Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier, goddamn one man army. You think he's a keeper? Cool as a cucumber. Oh my gosh, they're all like Barrett was worried. What? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. <gasps> she sees the flower. Well, can't argue with results, huh? What? <sighs> oh, Barrett's so angry. Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Uh, wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. Cloud is crazy. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Where's all the seats for these people? Why are they just standing in this cargo area? I know why we are, but what about them? Why don't they have much choice? I just wanted to be alone. What if other reactors were hit as well? Are you the one who grabbed my sleeve? Ugh, so cramped. Do something like that. Let's talk to Wedge. What does Wedge Man, have to say? Everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Stop that right hey, now! Cloud. All I want to do is pass I, um, out. If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Oh! You don't Cloud is so mean! Why are you so mean to stop Wedge? Right what? Stop what? What? What can I stop for you, ma'am? Look at that guy. Just moodily sitting in the corner. Single light shining upon him. Stop that right now. Okay, ma'am. You're gonna have to chill. Could Average really be behind all this? Hey, got a sec? Caught the perpetrators yet. You're uh holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8. I'm a soldier. You see, my daughter wow. now lives in Sector 8. My hands so... are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or Maybe not. Yeah. Does it also make you an asshole? Cloud is so rude. Little help, Cloud, please. Talk to me, Jesse. I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. 
It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. Jesse. I own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Jesse. You're a good listener. Jesse. It's not your fault. She's such a great character. So mature and wise. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <laughs> out your ass. Get him, Barrett. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. Get him, Barrett! In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence. Oh, won't you? Work together for peace and prosperity. Oh, will you? That is how civilized people change the world. Really? Middle manager? Oh, they're all applauding. Uh, get him, Barrett. <laughs> Them's fighting words. That's right. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> that scene was so interesting. Because it was almost a little bit campy. I didn't hear anything. You and I know that that's one of the things, like, cheesy is a word that came up with the original Final Fantasy VII of, like, why people, hey, like, kind of latched on to it. Right? Is because, yeah, it's a little cheesy, but, like, it's okay. It's, like, in a good way. It's just on the, on the border there. And that scene really embraces that kind of uh, feeling, I feel. The, the whole, like... The fact that he was he wasn't just called like a manager or like businessman they called him middle manager which is very specific <laughs> um, and just like the way that they like applauded his speech was like so like oddly campy and fun i love that scene oh dear they'd probably kill us if they knew we were the ones responsible No, don't think about it. They'd probably kill us if they knew we were the ones responsible. Well, I get it if you can't relate. Uh, shower might help. A long hot one. <laughs> Biggs is always talking about how smelly he is. <laughs> Who should I talk to, Barrett or Jesse? Oh, there's the TV screen. Okay, I'll talk to Barrett then. You hear that suit? Shouldn't recreate my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. Ooh, that's a good line. What does it say about you if you have to just kind of look at yourself and think, we're the good guys, damn it? I love that complexity. That's good. Let's talk, Jesse. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Let's. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <laughs> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. <laughs> so, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. 
The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Ooh. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. So that's how they scan the IDs. That's pretty cool. What I tell you, have a little faith. So interesting how like the the steampunk Only is like futuristic. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. The pizza in the sky. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Hmm, he's right, that Barret. Another super deep, complex concept, the luxury of choice. There's only one way it can go. Class conflict, Final Fantasy VII. Tip, accessories. Accessories can provide a character with special bonuses that weapons and armor do not, such as preventing certain status ailments. There's even an accessory that will automatically revive a character if they fall during battle. Hmm. Sounds like Aerith would want that accessory. Just saying. Don't yeah. worry, I'm fine. Oh, you're oh goodness. I knew it couldn't be that bad. No way. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Damn, we are good! <laughs> yes! Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter oh. future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Hm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love Barrett without his sunglasses. You soon. But uh, it looks so weird. Cuz I'm not know, I'm not used where to it. Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Oh, that Tifa, she's a worrier. That Tifa, we love her. Go inside. Ah. I just want to explore everything. I kill for one right now. What are we even doing here? No one in their right mind would go into a train graveyard at night. No one in their right mind would go into a tra train graveyard at night. Speaking of which, you hear it was supposedly a ghost, not a monster, that attacked that guy this afternoon? They must have been seeing things. Just like Cloud is seeing things? Graveyards closed? One of the locals was attacked by some kind of monster, so the watch told people to keep out. This dialogue is so detailed. Each little crowd has their own little set of a conversation. I just have to express how much work that must have been. And I can say, I know, I knew, I always knew that this game was a lot of work but like playing it now it's just like hitting me again how much work it really is how much care they put into this into making sure that this felt like an immersed 
real experience. I just gotta hand it to everybody involved. Wow, am I hungry? Guess I'll stop by one of the food stalls. So, you hear that burger joint staying open tonight? No way! I kill for one right now. You see the huge explosion on TV? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I'm How are people here taking the news? It's got a lot of them worried, but I don't have to stop them from partying, I guess. Don't they party anyway? Unbelievable. He's really tall. You'd have no trouble spotting him, even if he was in a crowd. Sorry, doesn't ring any bells. Please, you must have Aww. seen him. How are people here taking the news? It's got a lot of them worried, but none of them. You had me worried, Richard. We thought you were dead. <laughs> Just seeing your faces. Are you crying? Look at this, old buddies with his arm around the other. So detailed. I'm lucky to have friends like you. What's going on over here? A bit thick, aren't we? I mean it. Whenever you need me, I'll be there for you. Oh, <laughs> buddies. Well, I have to hold you to that. Oh, I just love this. It's so lifelike. I just want to know what all these characters' stories are. Yeah. Backpack boy. Got nothing to say, backpack boy. Huh? I get it. Look at all the cigarette butts on the ground. Whoa. That's crazy. How about it, baby girl? How about what? How about what indeed? Take your PDA elsewhere. See the world through her eyes. The cat. The cat's eyes. With Shinra X sensor technology. You can see the world like a cat does. Air Music Gallery. We are music lovers. Let's go see this in the mm -hmm. Oh, excuse you. We're in public, sirs. And madams. She just suggested they go make out in the train graveyard. This girl's thirsty. Mm -hmm. train, services have <gasps> train man! This was our favorite from Final Fantasy VII. Morning. Thank you for your patience. Emergency train services have now concluded. This was the final train of the day. Although this train man isn't saying, I've seen things. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. It's my job, public service, to be a train man. <laughs> train services have concluded for the day. We will provide an update on the schedule first. This guy just hanging out on the bench. Fried Marsh. You won't care where he's from once we're living topside. Yeah, I guess. Wow. I'm waiting for the leftovers. Hey, leftovers are for kids only. You feel like you're in a in a computer. Like you're like you got a circuit board as your roof. It's crazy. Wow. I put him in charge of my stand. I told him, son, the goal isn't to make a fortune. It's to make people happy. If someone's having a bad day, it's your job to put a smile on their face. I love that. By the looks of things, I'd say he took that lesson to heart. Aww. Uh, what are we ordering? Order pop. Buy one, get one free. Buy one what? What are you selling here, sir? Liquor? Leftovers are for kids only, dummy. <laughs> That's my new motto. <laughs> Leftovers are for kids only, dummy. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. So 
the Mako reactor's broken? For now. But don't you worry. We're gonna fix it. It'll be up and running in no time. Really? That's oh, that's great. the Shinra middle manager. Really, sweetie? He's got a family. I was pulling some OT when it happened. Wanna know what I was thinking the whole time I was evacuating? You got me. I survived this. I'm getting my drink on at 7th heaven. All right, sounds like a plan. We I'm know. So let's do it. They're going to party anyway. Hey, back hmm? just enough fried marsh. A handful or hear me out. A whole heap. What is fried marsh? But sadly, I don't share your passion for processed food. I don't share your passion for processed food. <laughs> um what is fried marsh? It's processed, but what is it? Is it like thinking about cutting in? It's fried, so marsh. Fried processed food. Maybe it's like like spam, like fried spam or something, would be my guess. Another day in the bag. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> this is a little bit of a problem, sir. We ain't got shit like that here. How about one that tastes like the piss? What? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Out the way. Some guys on the train were saying stuff about Shinra, criticizing the good work we do. Excuse you. I hope you were able to talk some sense into them. Yeah, of course. They were blubbering like babies by the time I was through with them. Well done, dear. This guy just lied to his family. They ran away like cowards. Some guys on the train were saying stuff like How dare you, middle manager? Oh boy, buddy. You need an Uber. You need to go home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I think we explored all of that area. Let's move on. I know my playthrough is going to be a lot slower than other playthroughs. I know. But I like to take in those little details. Not only because I've always liked that. I've always thought they added more to the story. But also because I, I helped make this game. And I want to see all the things that they helped make. I want to see all the parts of it. No words can describe how bright the flames were. Oh, I know. I was in them. What kind of person bombs a reactor? The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. Called Avalanche. That's what I heard on the train anyway. Avalanche. That sounds familiar. Mm hmm. Is that gonna be the end what of, kind of person that conversation? Okay. Yeah. Kind of Alright. Some plate he's only had it so good because of the reactors. And this bombing's changed all that. Yeah, well, shoe's on the other foot now. Let's see how they like fighting to survive. They're people too, you know. Hmm. Shoe's on the other foot now. <sighs> Leftovers are for kids, dummy. <laughs> I'd never seen anything like it before. It was completely insane. Security was out in full force looking for the bombers. I even saw a few helicopters. Wow, that sounds intense. That does sound it's intense. Like a giant candle lighting up the whole sky. Who are you talking to? Just just me? Okay. Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet. Yeah, the hell it is. Undercity resident. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> oh, no! What the? You okay, buddy? No, he's crazy. <sighs> Mako junkie, huh? <gasps> I imagine we're gonna have to follow those. Got anything else to say, Undercity resident? No? Very well then. 
Let's follow those hooded figures. That hot shower can't come soon enough. Biggs, we get it. You're stinky. When I get back, it's um, excuse time. me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir. <laughs> sorry, sorry for the inconvenience. In accordance with emergency regulations, entry into this area is prohibited. Please leave at once. Still too nice. Try again. Third time's the charm. Come on, buddy. This area is off limits. Turn around and leave at once. If you don't, I'll have no choice but to use force. Now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> oh, that voice actor is so sweet. The way his voice is cracking. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. Public security should know who did it. So. So you'll interrupt them while they're working? Come on, it's one little question. Let's see what's over here. Are you gonna yell at me too? You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. Wait, why does that sound just like Patrick Warburton? That sounds like Krunk from Emperor's New Groove. Say it again. Say it again. Come on! Come on! Do it! Oh, come on, guy! Oh, man. Sounds just like him. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. So, I'm seeing in chat just that... Where do you think you're going? Huh? I'm seeing in chat that this is the son of Patrick Warburton. His son is doing this voice. That's why it sounds just like him. Dude, that's amazing. Is that for real? That's so cool. He sounds just like him. I've always loved his voice. Just especially since Emperor's New Groove. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Wait, though, what is it like to sound just like your famous voice actor dad? Like, he has to go through that life sounding just like him. Well, I, I'm so curious. Oh, man. I think I have a friend of a friend that knows him, so maybe I'll ask. I'll pass along the question and let you guys know <laughs> when I hear back. <laughs> okay, okay, where are we? We gotta follow those, we gotta follow those hooded figures. Here we go. And Biggs, who keeps talking about how smelly he is. <gasps> Sector 7 slums! Oh, I love that it's getting this little intro. What are they going to turn the reactor off? Why did people blow it up? What the? That's where I work. No freaking way. Put that fire out, idiots. I was there yesterday. Wow. I feel like they did a really good job of making it super clear that this was actually an emergency it's not a movie. disaster. How long is it gonna keep burning? I feel like this scene right here of the entire crowd watching the TV and just saying like, wait, but I was just there yesterday. Or, oh no, that's where I work. Or that could have been me. Like that's definitely something that actually happens. That's, that's something that we actually feel when there's a disaster going on. Everybody's eyes glued to the TV saying like, 
I, I need more info because I'm scared. Like, that's so, so accurate. So interesting that they portray that so realistically here. I love it. Can I go up these stairs? I cannot. What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? <laughs> a man can dream. <gasps> there it is! Seventh heaven! We know what this is! I want a drink with tea for so bad. You're not the only one, man. She's a looker. A bombshell, even. She sure is. I, I want to explore all the things. The they don't want me to explore. <gasps> there she is. There she is. Smash your face in if you ever found out. <gasps> mm, oh, look at her I eyes. <gasps> <laughs> That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I picked up a Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Oh, it's so sweet. I'm curious about Cloud saying it's been five years and Tifa going, huh? Curious about that little moment. As you all know, I haven't played through the full Final Fantasy VII, so some things are still a mystery to me. <gasps> So I'll be unraveling this sort of partly as a newcomer, but really not because I was a voice in the game and I know a lot about it. So I know a lot about my character. I don't know as much about other characters. So it's just, it's going to be, my playthrough is going to be just weird and interesting and I hope you enjoy it. Uh. <laughs> hey! What uh, the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Scaring? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. Aww. Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um... Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Wait, what is this little music icon here? <gasps> is there going to be a music feature? Hello? Jukebox. Use the jukebox to play your favorite tunes. You can add more songs by collecting music discs, which can be found in the field where their presence is marked with a music icon. Tifa's theme obtained.
Pizza. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Okay, wow, rude, Barrett. What if I tried to talk to her again? It won't work. All right. Well then. Games. I guess we better go outside. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Here we How go. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It, it was, was wrong crazy. of me to put you in danger I like that. that I promise I won't do it again. Danger's part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. But what Always if I want to go up help here? Stick it to hmm. I just got a sidetrack for a minute. Just I'll be right back, Tifa. I just gotta see what's here. Hey, Cloud, oh. This way. Okay, never mind. Closed market. <laughs> oh, I love the neon signs here. Not good at all. Apparently he was fishing for info on our sector. Weird, right? So you make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Oh, buddy. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Really? Without a doubt. It's so hard. I want to listen to everything, but the the conversation on the side. I don't know what it is, but my life feels so. And empty. then the all the if conversations just keep going. It seems the reactor really was bombed. Does that mean we're gonna go to? I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra Ain't tells them to. Sector seven? So, the top side it wasn't that bad? Themselves. It was. Oh, right. Could you be a little more specific, Cloud? And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. I like how the very first thing Tifa says... It's gonna get a lot of people really <laughs> hyped. The first thing Tifa says is like, before we talk about money, I know of this empty apartment room that we could go to together. <laughs> Tifa, everyone in this game is so thirsty. God. <laughs> she's like, you could stay there. Room two. That's not why she's going. Sleep. Don't have time for much else. What with seventh heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. And it's right next door to her room. Okay. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Well, who lives there? Is it Jesse? And then Cloud is flanked? It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There's one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000 remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. 
I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. I think Avalanche needs a different business manager. That's bad business right there. I mean, I know that they're like a a non-profit, but <laughs> Guess it's time for introductions. Somebody's hungry. That's what my stomach sounds like when I'm hungry. Pretty sure that's, that's what he's doing over there. Let's find out what this is about. Is there something over here? Oh, there is. Mm, which way do I go? Mm, I'll go this way. Aha! A thing! Take. <gasps> a tuft! A tuft of phoenix down. No, 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 no. Go down. Okay. Here. Go. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh. Awkward. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. That's right! I'd forgotten about that. It was introduced in a different way, so... 49. What does it mean? But how does Cloud hang that on himself is my very important question. I must know. People are saying magnets. Is that canon or is that just an idea? Who would carry around a real heavy magnet on their back? Imagination? Yeah, I believe that a little bit more. <laughs> All right, well, this is a pretty boring apartment, so I guess we gotta go outside now. Ah, daylight in the slums. Should we go check in on Marco? I guess not. Okay, well, we already checked upstairs on the roof. What about Tifa? No, we're not gonna check on Tifa? Okay. Then I guess we get to explore! No, nope, not yet. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. Marl! So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. <laughs> you hear me? Loud and clear. 
go. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Well then, Marl. You think I would want to hurt Tifa? It's not my fault I'm an Aerith girl. I didn't have a choice. The luxury of choice. Maintaining surveillance. Oh, being a spy is so cool. Is it? Holding position until nightfall. We'll report any developments immediately if observed. I almost like can't help but just it's so <laughs> There's so much life in this game, you know? It's so vibrantly realized. I love that. I love that. What's going to happen to Midgar? It was just one reactor, dear. Everything's going to be fine. Not if Avalanche has anything to say about it. Shinra can't afford to let such a horrible act of terrorism go unanswered. This disaster's cost a lot of folks their livelihoods. Shinra needs to do something to show the people they're on their side. At the end of the day, it's just a company. They're not on anyone's side but their own. And that's the real lesson here. Companies' job is to make money and that's it. If this struggle with Avalanche turns into all-out war... I was thinking I might chat up all myself. She knows I'm... Let me in! No entry, my butt! Alright. Gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. Now what? Look at this guy just painting away. Do 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 singing a theme song for Stamp. What was that session like? That voice actor was just like, yeah, you know what? Let's just sing a little song. Let's just let's just sing a song. Wow. That's that's a song. That's a song right there. And right there is where we're going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are loving it. I know I am. Um, it's going to be a while before we get to the good, good, good stuff, aka the Aerith stuff. I know I'm a little impatient, um, but I hope you're enjoying it anyway because it really is just, and I would say this even if I wasn't in the game, it's a really amazing game. So. Take a second to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too, and of course, please remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all. Bye!